What up guys, my name is Phil and as you can see we are on the next winter hike again here with Audrey and today will be really exciting because during the whole way there is this beautiful waterfall and river and it's really nice path. Aldi has a new Andy filter, so we are going to try some long exposure shots of this waterfall. <laughs> in summer this road is just a normal road but now there is like no road as you can see we are in the forest right now and as always I have my film camera Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with me because we are shooting the documentary about like Czech mountains and so on if you haven't seen the uh, intro video for this check the corner and I don't know if you can see but behind me it's this nice beautiful river which is going all the way from the top throughout this whole track so it is really beautiful nature if you will be sometimes in Czech I definitely recommend to visit Czech mountains and Czech nature it's really really beautiful as you can see LB is behind me shooting and just a small tip uh, you really have to use ND filters in this type of environment in daylight because there is so much light and if you really slow the shutter speed then you have so much light that the camera will just not handle it and that's why you need to use ND filters to darken the scene and then you have nice beautiful images like this Risking everything for the shot <laughs> Life of a YouTuber. So it's really slippery, it's like really icy on here. So we have to put on our shoes like how is it called in English? Like I don't know. <laughs> like in Czech it's nesmeky, but it's like anti-slippery something iron to shoes. So let's put it on. <laughs> it's this. So the first tip was the ND filters and just a few things about them. There is a lot of kinds like variable ND filter, non-variable ND filter, circular ND filter and also in the trace ND filters like you put into the matte box, into film cameras. So probably for the photography, for long exposure photography is best the circular ND filter. It depends only on you if you want variable ND filter or if you want to have non-variable ND filter and there is a lot of uh, stops so you have ND stops like it is basically like how much dark the ND filter is so you have to choose the one which fits best for you if you want to have like really long exposure shots you will need like stronger ND filter and if you want just a slight slight tiny uh, long exposure you will need a smaller ND filter and this is it about ND filter and also just a quick tip, the lighter NDs uh, are also for filmmaking when it is like sunny, like today, finally, finally today is sunny, like every time we had foggy and you have it for sunny days, so you can shoot in natural shutter speed, like when you have 25 fps, you have 150 shutter speed, for example, so for this also you can use ND filters. If you want to see some more long exposure shots, definitely check Albi's Instagram. And now let's ask him a few questions about long exposure photography. Albi, tell us, what is your most favorite subject to shoot long exposure photos? Probably waterfalls. Waterfalls and night city or daylight city. Cars and so on. Long exposure photos are really about uh, catching the right time, the right subject. You need some moving things in your frame so as Albi said like 
some water or some cars, stars or something like that where you can catch this nice movement and stars, this is an exception because you really need a long exposure shot for uh, stars because they are not that shiny and you really need to catch a lot of light so you need to have the long exposure to be able to see the stars and here you have some photos Look at that! This is so, so cool way. Here you have the nice water, nature, and this nice pathway in the forest. Here it is starting to be more, more funny, <laughs> or maybe, maybe not. And just in case, if someone don't get it, you will probably need a tripod because if you don't have a tripod. It will probably be really blurry because when you have a long exposure you can't move with the camera because then it is all blurry. Like he is the pro influencer here, <laughs> not me! <laughs> you will definitely have it on his Instagram, so check it out in the description below. in a hurry because we need to catch the bus it will be tight it will be tight and if we don't catch it then we'll have to wait for another bus and this bus goes like three hours home so we don't want to go with this bus definitely not not gonna lie this trail is a bit scary in winter and also I got here a really important tip for uh, night sky photography here you can read it, it's a post from Instagram, but it's really useful. It helps you to set up your camera for great exposure and great focus. So you will not have the stars like blurred and this is really great tip. I am using it every time when I'm shooting night sky photography. And we have a new bad boy, 100 millimeters. Now I'm the real photographer. <laughs> Let's go. Finally, finally, we have some sunshine. We was waiting for this the whole time because every time we went on some hike, it was like foggy or snowy or rainy even. So really nice surprise from nature. According to weathercast, today should be also a bit foggy day. So really great surprise. And if you've seen the previous videos from winter hikes, you can say that it was all foggy and not a great weather. Look at this weather, like I have in my backpack, like next jacket. Probably more useful would be sunglasses today. Look at that. <laughs> this is the peak for today. And it is also the biggest mountain of this region. And it's really beautiful here, as you can see, all snowy. I really like this mountain because it's my childhood mountain we can say we were here like 50 times and it's really beautiful so let's get to the top As you can see we are here on the top, really nice weather and here is the last tip from Albi. So if you're trying to shoot on the crowded place and you have anti filter, even on a sunny day you can take a picture without the people because in long exposure the people are moving and in the final photo they are gone, they are just ghosts so you can in Photoshop just little adjustments and crowded place 
long exposure, no people. Easy. But you can th thanks me later, it's okay. Bye. <laughs> yeah, really great tip from Albi, so I hope you like it. And now we are going inside to get some hot drink or something. <laughs> beer, yeah, maybe beer. And, but really quickly, because the bus is waiting. Like, what the hell just happened? We were inside for like 15 minutes. <laughs> and look at that, the nice weather gone. Bye bye. So I think there is not much more interesting in here. I hope you've learned something from our tips. And thank you so much for watching and see you on the next peak. Bye bye.